US EVA coal upgrades is going to begin with EV1 egressing the Quest airlock first. The crew is going to be bringing out with them the COLCA, which stands for the Columbus KA band antenna. This hardware is going to be installed on the Columbus module during this EVA. EV1 is going to translate out to the Columbus module via the translation path you can see here. And we'll need to set up a few things at the worksite before that installation. EV2 is going to translate to an external platform called ESP2, where he is going to be ingressing the SSRMS, the robotic arm. The robotic arm is going to be taking him over to the Columbus worksite with the COCA. So the crew members are going to meet up at the worksite. They need to remove bolts that are on the Columbus panels. Where those bolts are removed is where the COCA is going to be installed. So they work together securing COCA to the Columbus module. Once it is secure, EV2 is going to route the cabling for that COCA and plug it into the Columbus module. Meanwhile, EV1 is going to head to the Bartolomeo platform. So Bartolomeo is an external platform in which payloads can be installed. There are clamps that need to be opened up in order to remove the cabling that needs to get routed in order to activate the Bartolomeo platform. So the crew works together to get those cables routed and installed. EV1 also needs to remove another set of cabling that is going to hook up an antenna for Bartolomeo, which you can see here. Once Bartolomeo is complete, the crew members are going to go back to the Colca and remove a cover. So the cover was installed in order to protect the antenna during installation. Since it's no longer needed, we are going to have EV2 jettison that cover while he's on the SSRMS. So once the activities are complete at the Columbus worksite, both crew members meet back up at the Quest airlock. They reconfigure some bags to take out with them for their next task, which is going to be out at the portmost section of the space station truss. They're going to be heading out to P6. You can see the translation path here. And the crew members are going to be removing an H fixture. So this H fixture is not needed on the solar arrays. So we're going to remove that H fixture. Both of them are going to be removing one of them. And this plate is going to be removed because it's going to be where a future upgrade of the solar arrays is going to be installed. So the plates are removed, put into a bag, and they will be brought back inside after the EVA. So once both crew members are complete with that, they both head back to the Quest airlock and we have completed the plan tasks for the EVA. If there is some time at the end of the EVA, we will have some get-aheads for the crew to perform.